is a primary care physician for many years and is a hospital medicine doctor now. Um, the number of visits to the emergency room, the number of patients that are being admitted for treatment of the consequences of opioid overdose has incremented over the years. It is very challenging to find the resources to help in assisting these patients who have so many needs. The management um, entails addressing the current medical complications from the medical problems that they have, but not only that, it's the psychological burden, is the um, assistance in being able to provide for them an avenue where they can find a way of being functional and, um, and, and, and productive in, in, in work um, when they do have to treat the consequences of addiction. Patients that have become addicted to opiate medications must be dealt with a, with a, a multifaceted approach. Um, you're not only dealing with the medical consequences of being an opioid high doses, but you're also dealing with psychological factors. We need to um, consider increasing our resources within hospital so that we can provide programs where patients that are ready to make a difference, that are ready to go into detox, being able to really assist them in getting them into detox at the time that they're ready to do so. And by so doing, decreasing the potential of them going back to the community and being exposed to this um, problem again. The other issues are really for them to understand that there are more resources such as newer drugs such as Suboxone that have enabled a lot of these patients to function in society because it's a control of their um, um, dependence on these regimens. Um, we also as a society have to recognize that um, the efforts of um, being able to provide more addiction services so when the patients become admitted or um, are visiting their physician, the physician is empowered to offer different services that would be covered for them to be able to undergo treatment for their disease.